Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Samuel. Welcome everybody to Danganronpa V3. We're back and we're starting off with a love key event with Korekio. I remember we did it back in the day. We actually got to do it back in the day. It was uh, one of the few ones we actually got to <clears throat> nail down and lock and we do constantly spam the, the only single love key that we had in order to see how many we can unlock. If you want to look back on that video, there's a whole video about it with the whole rope play that he does and everything else. So if you want to watch that, you're more than welcome to. A link for that hopefully is going to be in the description below. You can also find it as like one of the first love key events ever that we did in the series. I'm going to skip out on it right now since we already did it before. I want to try to get to the ones that we have done, you know, haven't done already, haven't experienced yet. But if you are interested in seeing that, there is a video available for that below. Nevertheless, let's go and continue through this. Okay, who have we not seen the love key relationship with just yet? Let's go through everybody and figure out if we have or haven't seen them so far to kind of make sure we nail them all down and everything. Let's go through here. Uh, let's go through this here. We have seen Kaitos, yes, we've recently got experienced Kaitos. Ryomas we have seen? I'm pretty sure, no, I'm pretty sure we've seen him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen his. Right? Did we? Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure we've seen Ryoma's, Ryoma, Ryoma's, uh, no, no, we haven't seen, wait, have we? Oh, yeah, 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 we played the role of the, uh, the manager for the, uh, the team or whatever, the team manager, the tennis manager. That's the role we played. Rantaro, we have seen the whole teacher thing. Gonta, I don't think we've seen Gonta's yet. That should be interesting. Kokichi, we have seen his, it was like about, uh, Shuichi being a detective and trying to catch Kokichi, as Kokichi constantly eludes him. Koneki, we've seen, the whole rope play thing. Uh, Kibo, we have seen Kibos, yeah, we have seen Kibo. Trying to be, you know, the whole hand-holding thing, I remember that. Kirumi, we have seen Kirumi, it's a very emotional one. Uh, Himiko, we have seen Himiko, as being her familiar. Maki, being her childhood friend, we have seen that. Tenko, being her, I guess, upperclassman in the dojo, we have seen that. That she has some very lewd feelings towards. We haven't seen Sumigis yet. We've seen Angie's, we've seen Miyu's more than, more times, we've seen Kaedis, the best one ever. So now what we gotta do is just wait until we get Sumigi, and we should be set and go. Alright, that's kinda cool. Alright, nevertheless, let's go ahead and reconvene here. Let's now with Kyo. Was that a dream? I feel kinda sore, because he ties people up and stuff. Nevertheless, how should I spend my day? How should we spend our day today? I believe the only people we gotta pursue here at the moment, let me just double check here, is... Uh, Kokichi and Tsumagi, right? Let's see here, affection level. What's my affection level with everybody right now here? Okay, yeah, it is Tsumagi and then it's Kokichi. I think what we could do is finish off Tsumagi and then finish off Kokichi last. Actually, you know what, let's do Kokichi now, so we don't have to worry about him later, and then we could do Tsumagi after. What would Kokichi even like? I feel like he would like the same things that Miu does, because they're kind of mischievous and everything. What would he actually like? Well, that's the thing, what kind of gifts would he actually enjoy? That's my biggest uh, crutch here, because like I literally don't even know what, what to give him even. I think some sort of prank, um, some sort of prank, uh, something with a prank, I don't know, would be interesting maybe, I don't know. Uh, what can we give him? Something with a joking, mischievous manner to it. Maybe he would like commemorative me metal set? Feel care he put into making you can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. I guess we could try giving it away. I don't know if he would love it, but maybe he would like it. I don't know. Hand grips, uh, maybe he would like it. Um, uh, classroom glasses, no. He wants such something mischievous, but I don't know what would be considered more mischievous for him exactly. Robot, oh no, we don't want to give it to exactly. Clock shape game console, maybe he would like something like this. A game console, maybe. Uh, monkey's paw, he modified handle monkey set to grant through wishes, none of the wishes it grants had never have happy endings. Maybe he would like monkey's paw, something like that. Samazan doll, no, no. With the cock of Barcelos, no. That would be something for Kadekia, really, if anything. Um, a beat humidifier? Or maybe Ernest Compass? I don't know. I don't know, a must-have for stalkers, hmm. Maybe we can give him that. I don't know, honestly. Robot mascot looks like a killer whale, can sense when someone is distressed and offers a real solution. Interesting. We just do have super lucky button, which I'm gonna keep for myself because, you know, it is a super lucky button. Uh, what can I give him in the first place? Marigold seeds? Marigold symbolizes despair? 
Maybe he would like something like this. Oh, rock, paper, scissors cards. Maybe he would like that. Let's try him that. I think he would enjoy something like that. Maybe, right? Let's try it. <coughs> wow! You scared me. Are you here to kill me? What would you like to do with Kikichi? <laughs> no, not this time, Kikichi. Uh -huh. Oh, you're not? Are you sure you're not a liar, Shibuchi? I bet, you, I bet even as we stand here talking, you're just waiting for me to drop my guard, huh? <clears throat> my voice is for them is gonna suck. Spend some time with Kokichi, resisting the urge to resisting the urge to contradict his absurdities. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can give him the card. The playing cards. Maybe he'll like that. Maybe. I feel like as somebody who is mischievous as him, he'll probably find it fun. Hmm. I guess this isn't that boring. You have pretty good taste, Yuichi. Well, not as good as mine. Surprised you with a gift one these days, Shuichi. So? So he did like it good. See, you know he likes it, we don't just don't know he loves it. He probably doesn't love it, but you know. What are you here for today? Did you come to beg for your life? Um... Are you serious about killing me? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Since I'm the ultimate supreme leader, duh. I swore my own, own title that I would protect my organization. That's why you must die. I can't tell if, he, I can't tell if he's serious. Hey, hey! Well, do it already. Get on the ground and beg like a dog. Ooh, I want to see you uh, slit your stomach too. Come on, do it. Pretty please. Wait. Jesus, if I did that, I'll die. Man. I guess I couldn't trick you. Boring. All right. <clears throat> okay, how about this? If you want to live, you gotta beat me in a game. Huh? A game? Yeah. I didn't give you much of a choice, but listen, this is your chance to survive. What kind of game? That's... Well, that's... Russian roulette, but with a bullet in every chamber. You go first. Wow. Wait. What? I would die for sure. Well, you never know. The bullet could get jammed. No. Our robbers don't jam. You got me. I guess you knew that already. This conversation is going nowhere. Yeah, I'm not playing Russian roulette. How boring. Fine, fine. Jeez, you've been, you've been pretty picky for someone who's about to be killed here. All right. You gotta play shadow game. It's time to. Do 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 do. <laughs> shadow game will send you to the shadow realm. Huh? <laughs> A duel shadow game. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, loser's soul would get sent to the Shadow Realm. Yep. All right. There we go. The Shadow Realm. Oh my god. It's time to duel. I can't believe they actually got out of the way to do Yu-Gi-Oh fucking reference. God damn it. Oh my god. Spike Chunsoft. I love y'all. Why don't you pull one card from the deck? Whoever has the largest number wins. Where'd you get the cards from? You get it? It's my turn. Draw a card. Wait. Power of the heart of the cards is stronger with me. Oh my god. I choose number 7. It's neither high nor low. Possibility of you winning drops to 50%. Kichi is in an odd mood. I wonder what's going on. You get it? Now, I am a turn. Now it's your turn. Draw your card. Unleash your attack. Then. Okay. Uh, A7. Huh? What? How can this be? Did you the Monster Reborn card? <laughs> you truly are amazing duelist, Shuichi. You aim for a tie instead. You intrigue me. I wouldn't say I did that intentionally. But this is the end for you. I'll let you live only if you have beaten me. You only have three events left in your life, so you better ha three events left in your life, so you better entertain me until then. <laughs> three events? What three events? I'm guessing those last three events right there be uh, before we stop interacting with them entirely. All right, so he's mischievous. So he's highly mischievous, and looks like the cards he does like. I return to my room. Mind and body exhausted. Kichi, are you just toying with me? He's toying with everybody. But at the same time, nothing that he does is going to be really like serious about it. Anyway, we still got some time left, and Gonta wants to go on a date. Hey. Shuichi, you want to spend time with Gonta? Going to feel like gentlemen will go to spend time with Shuichi. Should I accept the invitation? Sure, yeah, we'll go. We'll go somewhere. Thank you. Where does Shuichi want to go? What can we go, gym? I guess we can go to the gym. Exercise, maybe. I don't know. We decided to hang out in the gym. Looks like we're the only ones here. What should we do? Um, body's moving. Clean up a little. Body's moving. Hmm. Going to like moving body. Going to use the uh, roughhousing force family. Be able to understand each other by roughhousing. It's okay. But not every time. And always he shake hands first. Good. It seems like we both had a lot of fun. Okay. 
See, he's more of an athletic type. Uh, if it's somebody was, if it was somebody like Kirumi, I feel like it would be more about like, hey, let's just you know clean up the area a little bit more. There are a lot of trees in Thank here. Thank you. Just grown for no reason. It doesn't make sense, but whatever. Thank you for today. Going to glad to spend time with Shuichi. Amazing. So much fun today. I got to also feel closer to being true gentlemen. We spend time with Gonta again. Um. Come, we go back to dorm together. Sure. Yeah, buddy. Sounds good. Gotta hang out with Gonta for a little bit. That's pretty fun. It's a pretty good way to uh, spend in between hangouts with Kokichi. What should we do now? I guess we can come back to finish off everything with Kokichi before we start with Tsumigi. And then afterwards we can start going on dates. Left and right and choose and pick and choose who we wanna date. We'll have to probably do this uh, twice. Uh, this time around we're gonna have to finish this the game. And then we're gonna have to go again in order to get everybody's dates completed. Um, and uh, finish the salmon team. But nevertheless, let's continue with Kokichi. I'm gonna try to give him the cards again. And I'm gonna see what happens here. Yep, let's spend time together. Whatever you wanna do, mis that's mischievous. Let's skip through that. And give me the cards, my man. Give me the cards. I wonder if you'd still appreciate them. Let's see, we do have four of them, nevertheless. Another thing we can give him is maybe perfect laser gun. I think he would actually really appreciate that. Maybe student ID. I think he'll do something mischievous with that. He does like information about people. You know, whatever he can use and manipulate on people, it's, you know. It's true! I'm actually happy. Okay, that's good that you're happy. Hey! Kichi, we're gonna play more games today. Shuichi! Hey, Shuichi, let's have a tea party today. Huh? A tea party? Hey! Can hey. we do it, pretty please? Well, we're gonna do it, so let's do it in the dining hall. Wait! Oh, wait, Kokichi. And he dragged us out to the dining hall either way. Having a tea party. He's gonna poison the tea, isn't he? <laughs> this is pleasant. I feel like my soul is coming back to my body. Uh, okay. By the way. Organization requires everyone to have an afternoon break. Increases productivity. Hmm. That sounds like a rather peaceful organization. Yeah. Supreme Leader's ahem, me is a pacifist. That's why I settle fights with games. By the way, everyone who lost me to me should be working hard in Siberia right now. Siberia? <laughs> I heard it's a nice place. I come from around that area, originally. But if they even alive, if they're alive, but don't worry, Shuichi. You'd be in heaven rather than Siberia. No, I prefer not to be. Hmm. Mm, well. Okay. How about you just join my organization? If you're a member, that'd be no problem. You're a pretty interesting guy, so I think joining might be good for you. Uh. Organization. What's your game, Gokichi? Why? What's your game? Uh... What do you mean, what's a game? I just want you to be my sacrificial hitman. Huh? Sacrificial hitman. Because? So the act of killing is a waste. Learning the value of wasting man is more important. It's killing either way. Okay, so that's what he wanted to do. No response. I guess the day went by. All right. So, I think I'm gonna head out. By the way, are you sure it was okay to waste this evening without playing a game? Huh? Because? Now there's one less chance for you to survive, you know. I already told you that you only have three events left, but you seem pretty relaxed. Wait! Oh, wait a minute, you're the one who said we should drink tea together. Uh... You blaming me? Yeah, sure, whatever. Huh? What? <laughs> right here there, Chuchi. That's the face I wanted to see. I'm the supreme leader of evil. Crush people's hopes and dreams. All right. More like you just make a convenience, but that's about it. But, you know, we don't know. That he, this Chuchi doesn't know that yet about everything that Kokichi is. Now, since I took my snack break, I should be able to work hard today. <laughs> I can't even do his laugh whatsoever. I apologize. It's gonna be the worst thing ever. <clears throat> okay. I shake off Kokichi's cheeky laughter. Never turn to my room. Let's see what else we can do for today. Uh, we're gonna have to max that out with him, and then we're gonna need to finish with him uh, on the next day, on the day six, and then we can finish off with Sumigi as well, and we'll have everybody completed up to five friendship hearts, and then we have to start with the romance option. The romance stuff is gonna be rather interesting, because we actually get to pick and choose who we want to hang out with and what we do. There's possibly the little in between mini game of, um, you know, of uh, possibly like. Listening to their inner thoughts and everything, so that should be rather interesting. I'm gonna try to give him the laser gun this time around. I'm wondering if he actually likes stuff like that. Hmm. It's pretty decent present, Chuichi. I start to get me now. <laughs> Feels good to know that you thought long and hard about what tribute to give me. Chuichi. Okay, so he does like lasers. Good. That's our proper battle today. So how about we play a game called The Burning Apology? Huh? The Burning Apology. Yeah. Yep. Beg me not to kill you while kneeling on a burning hot metal plate. If you really want to live, then I know you can do it. Wait! Can't do that, I would die. Doesn't sound like a game. Oh? So you figured it out. Huh? Of course I figured it out. Um... 
Now how about the steel beam walk? Steel uh, beam walk. Um, steel beam walk. Well, you walk across the thin steel steel beam, make it to the end without falling. Then you win. Hmm. That sounds alright. Um, By the way, the beam is placed between two buildings. There's also electricity involved. Um. Of course, you plan on crossing as well. Yeah. Of course, I'm gonna cross it. I'm pretty confident when it comes to balancing. It's a lie. So no, I won't go. It's putting a lot of effort into messing with me. Um, is there something else we can do? I want a game of life or death. Is that all right? These challenges. The idea is, is if I win, I don't die, correct? Yeah. Yeah, Bruce. And why? Then why are we both risking our lives? Why? Who cares? We're gonna die anyway someday. This changes the timing a little. <laughs> I'm the supreme leader of evil. I'm used to risking my life. Hmm. We don't do any steel beam walking. <laughs> of course. What I, uh, what I said was a lie. I'm used to it at that point. Ah. So then, how about we just do a simple game of rock, paper, scissors? Huh? Rock, paper, scissors. Isn't that all luck? <laughs> and that's why it's fun. Chuichi, good luck on surviving. Alright, all right, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah. Both put out the same thing. Hmm. I see. Again. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. The same again. <laughs> how long will you prolong your life, Chuichi? Rock, paper, scissors. I guess I just keep going and going and going. All right. Rock, paper, scissors. Hmm. Same again. Hmm. I'm bored now. This is the bajillion time you tied. Chuichi, please just finish it up. No. It's not really anything I can do. Man. Fine. We'll be done for the day. Congrats, Chuichi. You're still alive. Oh, yeah. By the way, <laughs> did you know there's a way to throw the same thing on purpose in rock, paper, scissors? Huh? <laughs> was that was that what Kokichi was doing just now? So he wouldn't win? That will be the point of that. Because... What will, be will be the point of that? You only have two events left. I hate lies and jokes, but I'm lying. You just have good. You just have good luck, Shuichi. We got the same thing a hundred times. That's not just luck. <laughs> Maybe detective's intuition is getting more precise. Well, you are the ultimate detective. Well, you know. Still, next time we meet will be your last. Enjoy the little time you have left, Shuichi. Okay. All right. All right. Interesting. All right. I return to my room, mind and body exhausted. So, it will all be over after one more event. Somehow I doubt it. Nope, it won't be over. It will never be over. That's another live his. That's another live his. I get he's supposed to be like lying and mischievous and everything, but it just. It's obnoxious. It's actually kind of obnoxious. Nothing we can do here, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out. Let's see if we can do the love key event. We only need Tsumigi, and we should be A OK and complete with everybody here. Oh, we got Kurumi again. If you don't mind, I'm gonna be skipping through the ones that we've already gotten, so we can continue on forward. And yes, I know this one's very emotional and everything, and I, I, I read the comments, a lot of you actually uh, found this one to be a really impactful uh, love key encounter. And I agree, I agree, it was very impactful. It was very, it was very sweet, it was just very fascinating to see Kurumi go through that event and stuff like that. But anyway, Let's go ahead and see what we can do for the day. Mm. I'm like, focus down on Kohichi for the last run. I don't even know what we can give him at the very end, honestly. Maybe we can give him the game console. The uh, the clock-shaped game console. Maybe he would like something like that. Maybe? I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. It's, it's a, it is a pretty rare item. And uh, pretty difficult to get. We do have the, uh, the exploit of the coins and stuff, so don't worry. We can always get items as necessary. But I do wonder if we can give him the... Uh, the clock shaped game console, if he would actually enjoy something like that. Uh, where is that again? There it is. I wonder if you'd like that. Oh. It's nice! I was wanting something like this! Hell yeah! The last event that we need for them, and we got him the thing that he loves. Good. It's true! By the way, it's not a lie, okay? Don't worry, I'm actually happy. Shuichi! Good. God, you came, Shuichi. Remember, today's the last chance, okay? Sigokichi is just as chipper as usual. I don't know what he is, why he's being serious and when he's toying with me. What? Which is it? That's the thing, he doesn't talk about it. I believe there are moments where he is serious, but for the most part, he's just having fun. I don't know what exactly got Kokichi to, you know, become this way. But at the same time, him being the ultimate supreme leader, I feel like that's uh, an actual ultimate. But the thing is though, as the ultimate and as a leader of his organization of uh, mischievous uh, bandits, pretty much, uh, I feel like 
everything has to be a game. I feel like the reason everything has to be a game is because he maybe didn't get enough attention in his life, or maybe he got bored to the point where he needed something to constantly stay spontaneous, or else things just get extremely mundane. Something must have happened in his life to get him to be obsessed with making things non mundane anymore, right? I would think so, right? Anyway. I don't know when he's been serious, when he's toying with me, which isn't. All right. Now it's time for the final game. This is... Ta-da! A knife? What are you... <laughs> don't get so antsy. Don't worry. It's only for a game. You know what the knife's game... You know what the knife game is, right? Uh, the knife um, game? See? Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I remember seeing that in, in 4 We Like, you have to, like, lay out your fingers and just, uh, stab the knife in between your fingers. Place your palm on a table with fingers apart. With the knife, stab between your fingers. Wait! This is so dangerous. How exciting! This will be today's challenge. This is fitting for the final game, isn't it? No. This is really dangerous. What if you get hurt? Mm hmm What are you talking about? Chuichi, if you lose, you'll be beyond just injured, you know? You'll die. Kikichi's demeanor has changed. He seems far more serious now. So that means... I'll make the first move, okay? Gage spread his fingers on a the table, then lifted the knife. I've never seen Gage so serious before. Is this what the ultimate supreme leader looks like? All right. I'm ready! It's so fast. If he can do that... Oh. He hurt himself. Ah. Uh. Kokichi! Blood oozes from Gage's hand. I sprung into action and grabbed his wrist. Wait! You don't have to keep going. Stop. Just stay still. I'll get it. Well then, good job, buddy. When it hurt itself. Found a nearby first aid kit and clumsily tended to Kokichi's cut. And all the while, Kokichi was... <laughs> laughing. Laughing as if he were having the first uh, the time of his life. Hmm. Okay, I think that's good. What do you think? Thanks. Yeah, it wasn't a deep cut, so that will do. Thanks for cheating my injury, Chuichi. But... You got me! Oh man, I lost. Congrats, Chuichi. You win. Uh, but I um, didn't do it yet. I'm still the winner. Maybe. Well, I messed up, so yeah, you win by default. Plus, I already fulfilled my objective. Huh? Objective. Well, to kill you, Chuichi. That's... But I'm alive. But... I made your heart die with worry, didn't I? Huh? What? Hey! After I said I kill you, I was in your mind the whole time, right? You thought about whether or not I was serious or why I would say something confusing. Even now, you're concerned about me from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> now you'll never ever forget me for the rest of your life. I stole your heart, so now I'm satisfied. I don't need to steal your life anymore. Why? What does that even mean? Why do you say that? It's a lie. Because I was a lie. I never wanted your life to begin with. And like I told you from the very beginning, I'm a liar. I feel like Okichi. He wants attention. He wants attention from people, so he's willing to act out. Like, you know how sometimes, like, bratty little kids would act out in order to get their parents to even notice them, or to get other people to notice them? It's kind of like what Pikichi is. Except as a team. I have nothing to say. Toying with me would be putting it lightly. I don't think there ever will come a day when I truly understand Kokichi. I reach out to him, but he doesn't take my hand. But in his own way, I think that helps me understand him a little. Well, we now have a full understanding about Kokichi. So that's the thing. Knowing your skill, kind lie. All right then. I have to make a mental note to myself. Actually, I have to go be a back real quick. Uh, be right back. Oh, welcome back. Hey, I'm back, and now we got Kikichi's undergarments. Okay. Okay, yeah. Now we just got. Now we just need one more set of undergarments from Sumiya. I wonder. <laughs> Please don't judge me, but I wonder what kind she wears. Still have some time. What should I do? What should we do, actually? You know what? Now we're done with. Kikichi, we can now focus on Sumigi, and I think we just need two more events with her. How many wigs do we have in particular that we can give to her? I think we should have a couple more wigs we can still give to her, so we can get to know her a little bit more. Let's see if we can give her those wigs. She seems to have loved those wigs in particular, and at the very end we can give her the uh, suitcase with uh, the cosplay carrying case. This right here, the prop carrying case. I think she would really, really, really enjoy that. Let's give her this. Also, Photoshop software we can give her that. She really loves it, yeah? She really does like it. Um... Tsumigi, would you first start making cosplay? What? That's where you, you jumped to. Uh, uh, um... uh... If you'd rather not say, you don't have to. No... It's not that I don't want to say, it's just a little... It's a little embarrassing. Tsumigi brushed, uh, blushed and brought her fist to her chin, thinking. Uh... What a start. From a young age, I love clothes that were cool and cute. An anime was full of clothing like that, so every weekend I'd be glued to the TV. Um... One day I eventually learned of a thing called cosplay. As soon as I did, I want to stick with the main my favorite character's outfit. Huh? That's amazing. You made it from scratch? No! 
and it was too hard to make from scratch, so I modified an ex existing outfit. But even though I made it, I didn't have the courage to wear it to a con. What? But even so, I wanted someone to see it. Do you understand that feeling? Okay. I think I do. You worked really hard. Right, right? Human suggests lump lumps of desire that need acknowledgement. Okay, and so I dared to put it up on, my, on the internet. What should we do? Thinking back on it now, showing an outfit like that is kind of embarrassing. Let so me get squirming. I understand how she feels. I wonder what kind of. I wonder if we actually if she actually get to show what kind of outfits she done. Probably not. Probably not. Probably there's no such thing. There's no, no such uh, archives and game files. But it'd be rather interesting to see what she would look like in a cosplay. But family was full of nice people, so they didn't make fun of me. Actually, certain cosplayers said it was good for my first time. The compliment was enough for me, but um, they said they wanted me to wear it and that we should go to con together. To my surprise, there were really famous cosplay in the fandom. Hmm. Isn't that right? Is that right? Well, did you go? Yeah. Of course. It was more fun. It was more fun than I ever imagined. I couldn't believe it. It seems eyes are sparkling. Must have been a lot of fun. Uh... Looking back, the cosplay we just wanted to drag others into the cosplay swamp. I was dragging quite easily, but still, I'm thankful. Co hmm. Cosplay swamp. And that was the start of your ultimate talent, right? You're right. Yeah, if I hadn't been invited to that con, I wouldn't be the person I am now. I'm still friends with that cosplayer. I wanted to make more efforts for them. Uh... What kind of tone have I been setting? I'm so embarrassed. We should listen to a plain boring story. I'd love to hear more about it. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, I would love to hear more about it. No. I'd love to hear more about it. These stories are fascinating. <laughs> we actually get to see her personality a little bit more. And got to get catch her a little bit off guard, which is kind of cute. Hmm. Oh, what? Did I say something wrong? What is this? Never heard of flying outside of girls' manga of dating sims. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is kind of a dating sim. Her eyes are getting sparkly again. It's plain to see. If you were a dating sim, you wouldn't be the you be it wouldn't be the most popular, but you'd have fans. Is that a compliment? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, all right. To me, the has been updated. Wonderful, wonderful. So, you told me a few more cosplay stories in our turn tomorrow. Room. All right, that was actually kind of neat. It's kind of cool getting to know her a little bit more. There's actually something more behind the plain Jane that she tries to uh, portray. Okay, let's see if we can do the finale here. The finale with Sumigi. Let's see how that's gonna roll off for us and what kind of crazy stories we can experience with her here now. What? Here we go. And I got just the gift for her. A gift that she's gonna absolutely love. Alright, let's do it. Definitely. Let's find the prop carrying case. This is the finale where we'll never, ever, ever have to use items, these items ever again for any of these events. We just have to go on dates with them from now on and using the spending the date tickets in order to actually start something with them. Hmm. 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 It's kind of neat. It's kind of neat knowing that like we're almost done with this. But we're not like this, we're done with this part here, but the actual present given part. But there's still a lot more to go until we complete all the dates and get a full ending for the salmon team. Let's do it. What is this? You giving this to me? Thank you. Thank you so much. Those are the only words I can say. Could it okay. be? I was thinking, would you be interested in trying cosplay, Shuichi? Huh? Right? You seem to enjoy hearing about cosplay, so I figured you might want to try it. Hmm. Well, I am interested. Uh... You could probably pull anything off. It might even be great at co crossplay. She's already sizing me up. Hey! If you were to cosplay, what would you want to be? Uh, um... I haven't agreed to anything yet. <laughs> what sort of character can you see yourself cosplaying as? Realistic school uniform? In medieval night? A girl? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. What should we answer? You know what? Let's go with... Let's go with Tsumigi's... Crossplay idea. Let's see where that takes us. For science. Then maybe a girl. Shuchi does kind of have those like bottom eyelashes that seem to kind of stand out a little bit. I don't know. It's some about the art. Some about the art with the eyes that they do that I find like rather fascinating. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, because she suggested the whole crossplay thing, let's see what takes us. What? Right off the bat, you got guts, Shuichi. I guess. But instead, wanted to be a different, when, a different you when dressing up. So that means you want to try cosplay, the right? Right? Oh. Wait a minute, I'm still not sure. Uh. You can make pretty good. Uh, Shizo will accept your voice anyway. Your eyes are a good match for Genos. Oh, Mikazuki might be good too. She really is sizing me up. But I think I think for you, Kana to the White would probably be the best. Huh? Kana to the White. I wish I could understand what these characters were. Kana to the White from the show they used to play in the mornings. What? 
Inobari Shuichi? Okay. Yeah, I really liked it. What? Seriously? What a super coincidence. A coincidence. Do you wanna try? I'll make, I'll make you a Kanata outfit, so let's cosplay. And get you the con together. Huh? Oh, re really? Um... The truth is, the first outfit I made was a cosplay of Kanata. Hmm. Hmm? So the cos cosplay that I wanted to wear was a boy? No. She's a girl who is good at cro uh, crossplaying as male characters. Hey! But I decide, I didn't think our taste would be this similar. Ugh. Before I could react, let me get grabbed my hand and swung it back and forth. Right, right? <laughs> She's so she's so cheery about it. She's so ecstatic about it. Do you think I meet someone I could talk with here? I'm really happy. <laughs> this alpha will be returned to my roots, so I'm super excited to make it. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> when she realized we were holding hands, she blushed and went still. But she didn't let go. Sorry. I get too excited since I found someone like me. Um, I'm just, just a cosplay fangirl. But I'll do my best for you, Shuichi. Wow. So won't you join me? I want to teach you about the world of cosplay, Shuichi. The spark on her eyes was back. Sumigi is inviting me into the world of cosplay, the world she loves so dearly. So I simply nodded. Okay. Okay, Sumigi. Shuichi! Then once we get out of here, let's go to con together, it's a promise. Sumigi resumed swinging my hand back and forth, giggling. A promise. A promise that we would make it out of here. Sumigi and I would keep that promise. We have the bond now. But cosplay, huh? I suppose it doesn't hurt to try. Alright, alright. So that's the thing. That's the thing. You need to diversify your bonds. That's what I just got for the achievements. 2D love is a new skill. 2D love. Wow. Wow. Tsumigi so spend the next few hours fangirling about cosplay with me. Tsumigi's so undergarments. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Shuichi's undergarments. <laughs> <laughs> we even get Shuichi's. Oh my god. All right. All right. We're done with all the friendship fragments. We're done, Ski. <laughs> and we got everybody's underwear. We're good to go.